Hey guys, this is Tim with Tech Support here at SparkFun. We're uh, here to talk about solder paste today. We've got this small canister of solder paste and it can easily dry out if it's left too long on a shelf um, or if you accidentally leave it open overnight or for a few hours. So we want to show you um, kind of how to rejuvenate your solder paste and make it like new. So we've got three solder paste for you. Um, one is uh, a very clear example of a dry solder paste and then also one that is kind of on its way to getting too dry and then what we would probably call an ideal example of what your solder paste should look like by the end of this. So we're going to take you one by one and show you close up how uh, each of them kind of varies and then we'll get you to fixing the dry stuff so it looks like the good stuff. I just want to point out that for this example we're using two different jars of solder paste. Uh, this isn't for any real particular reason other than this was the driest, crumbliest solder paste that I could find in the office. It's the same paste and the same process will work for any kind of paste that you might have. To start we'll go with the uh, clearly dry. You can see it's, it's holding its form, it's not making a flat soupy kind of consistency to it. Um, it's holding in one position because it was sitting in a canister on its side and now uh, just very clearly dry. We'll show you the medium dry. This is uh, just a little too dry. Uh, ideally, we could probably soften it up a little. It's not necessary. Uh, might still work where it is, but uh, this is just to kind of show you when you, you might start thinking about this process. And finally, we have the ideal solder paste. You can see there's a nice wet sheen to it. Uh, it's not too soupy, but it's definitely a liquid kind of soft matter. Um, and so that's what we're going for. The main thing we're going to need here is just your standard flux. This is something I pulled off of my desk. We're just going to pull this out and then just stick the screwdriver in and you give it a few pokes while it's upright and you can see it's dripping all over my table. To start we have our dry solder paste here. We're going to just add a few drops of flux and then we're going to start stirring it in and you can see how chunky and flaky this solder paste is right now. Now that's getting better. I'd go just a little farther, I think. That's getting a lot better. If we overdo things, we can kind of dry it out by just leaving the cap open and um, coming back every maybe 10, 15 minutes, giving it a quick stir. So next time you find that your solder paste is dried out, I hope this helps you rejuvenate it and bring it back as good as new. Catch you guys next time. Take care.